How do airplanes fly? Every time you see a huge airplane rise into the sky, it feels almost like magic. Airplanes are made of heavy metal. They weigh many tons, and yet they can lift off the ground, fly across oceans, and even circle the entire Earth. How can something so heavy float in the air? The answer is not magic, but science. The science of flight. Airplanes can fly because of four main forces. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. These forces act on every airplane, and when they are balanced in the right way, flight becomes possible. Lift is the upward force that allows an airplane to rise into the sky. It is created by the wings, which are not flat, but shaped in a special way called an airfoil. When the airplane moves forward, air flows faster over the curved top of the wing and slower underneath. Faster air creates lower pressure, while slower air creates higher pressure. The higher pressure beneath the wing pushes upward, and that upward push is lift. Without lift, an airplane could never leave the ground. Weight is the downward pull of gravity. Every object on Earth has weight, and airplanes are no exception. Airplanes must generate enough lift to overcome their weight, and that is why wings are so large and engines so powerful. Thrust is the forward force that pushes an airplane ahead. This force is created by the engines, either propellers that spin or jet engines that push out fast streams of air. Thrust pulls the airplane forward so that air keeps flowing over the wings, making lift possible. Drag is the opposite of thrust. It is the resistance of the air against the airplane's motion. The faster a plane moves, the more drag it experiences. That is why airplane designs are sleek and smooth, to reduce drag and allow them to fly faster and more efficiently.